in our environment and most part of the world, much emphasis is placed on the woman with little or no attention placed on the man when it comes to fertility related matters. But wait, do you know that men and women equally contribute about 40% to the factors responsible for causing infertility worldwide? Now that you know, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top 5 sperm killers. I am Waleola. I'm a medical doctor and a reproductive health advocate. If you are new here, welcome. Do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you don't get to miss any of our videos. Let's start. Top on my list is smoking. Smoking negatively affects sperm's health by producing some bad chemicals which damages the genetic material of the sperm thereby reducing their ability to swim effectively. In some instances, these chemicals kill the sperm cells directly, leading to low sperm count. This takes us to my second point, which is alcohol. Now, excessive alcohol intake has multiple negative effects on male fertility. Firstly, it increases the level of the female hormone estrogen and decreases the level of the male hormone testosterone in the body. Secondly, it causes the size of the testes to reduce significantly. The combined effect of these changes will lead to low sperm count, many sperms with abnormal shapes, and reduces the ability of the sperm to swim effectively. Point number three, medicines. Some antibiotics, some antifungals, some anti ulcer drugs, and some steroids can reduce sperm production, leading to low sperm count. So avoid the use of drugs without prescription. Point number four, excess body weight. So excess body fat, especially the ones at the waist area, do not just sit there doing nothing. They contribute significantly to production of the female hormone estrogen and this leads to a decrease in the sperm production leading to low sperm count. Secondly, excess body fat around the testes increases the temperature there and this increased temperature leads to reduction in sperm production also leading to low sperm count. Finally, Sexually transmitted infections like gonorrhea and chlamydia can directly kill sperm cells and in some instances they block the passage of sperm. Other things will include exposure to chemicals, maybe in the workplace, radiations and all sorts can damage sperm cells. Now that you know these sperm killers, try as much as you can to avoid them so as to increase your chances at conception. Good luck!